we're back. This week we're visiting the Comprehensive Cancer Care Program at Central Maine Medical Center. And I'm joined now by Drs. Jensen and Mandel. You're both radiation oncologists. Those are big words. Uh, what's your role in tr diagnosing and treating cancer? So as radiation oncologists, generally we begin by seeing a patient when they're initially diagnosed with cancer. Um, we determine if radiation should be part of their treatment plan. If they are going to receive radiation, we do the actual treatment planning. Um, and once patients are under treatment, we see them weekly and then, of course, in follow-up. So we're here at what's called the Cynthia Wright Home Radiation Center. Tell us about the services you offer here, all of them, and the type of staffing we have here. Um, so in terms of services, we provide um, what's called intensity modulated radiotherapy as well as three-dimensional radiotherapy. And those are just fancy words, meaning that we can deliver radiation that's very closely targeted to the tumor while sparing normal tissues, because that's really where side effects come from. Um, in terms of our staff, um, it's really a team that, that does this. Um, the radiation therapists are people who actually do the simulation as well as deliver the treatments daily to the patients on the machines. Um, there's dosimetrists that actually do the, the treatment planning with our guidance. Um, physicists that help in especially difficult cases as well as do a lot of quality assurance work. Um, of course, nurses that help manage the patients and provide a lot of support. Um, and for us, our social workers is especially important to what they do. They help so much with patients planning their transportation, dealing with insurance issues, just whatever people need. And could I just add sure. uh, about 50 to 60 percent of all patients diagnosed with cancer will at some point in their treatment need radiation. Mm -hmm. It's a local treatment, so it's very unlike the other form of therapy, chemotherapy. We can direct and target the area that requires treatments of the tumor itself while minimizing radiation dose to the structures around the tumor. And you talk about the technologies Got it. So you can really make a rifle shot out of it, in essence, exactly. so that you get right on the tumor and it doesn't affect the tissue around it. Exactly. And with the help of computer programs, which really has changed how we deliver the radiation and how we plan the radiation. I've been doing radiation therapy for 25 years. It has very well changed over that time frame. And I have to say that the way that we deliver radiation now really has decreased not only the acute side effects during treatment, but also the long-term risks that we used to see, especially for um, areas where we would treat where the normal tissues just could not take high doses of radiation. An example would be head and neck cancers. I think it's the hardest area to treat and also had the most complications long term. So you'd cure the patient of their cancer, but their quality of life was not always so great. That's great. This center is center for a wide uh, distribution of people, thousands of people in central Maine. Why is it important to have this care relatively close to home for people? I think that's especially important in our field of radiation oncology because the way we give treatments is generally on a daily basis where they get a small dose of radiation every day. Um, so when patients are traveling, you know, the further they have to travel, they have to do that every day. So it's, it's an especially large burden for both the patient and the caregivers. Part of that, though, I mean, when people come from away, you have the Arbor House across the street. What, what, how's the Arbor House fit, fit into all of this? Um, so that's a wonderful part of what we're able to offer here in terms of support for the patient. It's a, um, a free place for patients who live far away to stay while they're getting their radiation treatments. It's very comfortable, very home-like. Um, and I think it, it's just one aspect of our program that um, shows the importance we place in really supporting the patient and their family and caregivers through this process. And that's literally right across the street from this. And treatments are very fatiguing, exhausting for patients. So to add the burden of sometimes a two-hour travel back and forth just doesn't make sense. So it's very nice to have the arm. The patient can't stay there they with their family. They can stay there. It's free. They need a caretaker or a family member. Very convenient. Quality has become a, one of the watchwords in medicine, if you will. What are you doing to look at quality outcomes, and how do you track that? I think radiation oncology in general has really been a leader in quality assurance type activities. It's always been part of what we do. Um, there's many processes we go through with each patient and the treatment planning process and beginning treatments um, to make sure everything is as it should be. Um, part of the role of physicists is to check the patient's treatment plans on a weekly basis and also at the beginning of treatments. Um, and they also perform checks on the machines to make sure the machines are delivering dose the way they, we think that they are. We have morning meetings where we talk about all the patients who are coming in. 
the whole staff are there. There's nursing involved. There's therapists. So the communication is excellent. I also checked Dr. Jensen. Um, I will hear about her patients during a weekly uh, conference every Tuesday, and she will hear about mine. So there's a check and balance on the physicians and how we are also treating patients. And we're hoping to become accredited, I think, by the American College of Radiology, uh, which is a sort of a milestone, I think, for many centers. So this really is a team approach here with a group of people that you talked about. I want to thank you, doctors, thank you very much. This has been hugely informative to me, and I'm sure it has been to our audience. Um, we'll be back to talk about another part of the Central Maine Medical Center, a comprehensive cancer treatment program.